How sad is it when I wake up and I'm like, oh, thank God it's Monday. And, you know, I'm looking forward to that. The stock market's being open and everything else. Am I the only one out here who feels that way? That you can't wait for the weekend to be over so you can get back to trading stocks and trying some new strategies to, to get to financial freedom and create generational wealth? Let me know down below. Today, we're going to talk about a lot of different things. I'm going to go over some of the plays I have, you know, and kind of tell you in more detail what I've been doing and how I'm going to move forward with it, as well as... Of course, we'll take a look at NEO and Tesla. We got a lot to, to, to go over this week because we got the Fed meeting. They're going to come out and do their thing, which we kind of know what it is already. There's going to be no rate hike. There's no surprise there. It's the volatility you get the day that old Uncle Jay Powell comes out, decides to talk his game and scare the markets or calm the markets down. We don't know. But at the end of the day, I'm continuing to wait for something to break. And until then... I'll continue my strategy and just prepare for what I believe is going to be a very good opportunity to make bank off of the actions of the Fed. So we got a lot to talk about, of course. Now, if you haven't joined me over at the Patreon with Larry Jones, Stocks with Josh, Keenan Grace, my friends, what are you waiting for? Come on over. We started our portfolio. It is up now. We are slowly rolling those picks out. And we, I, I look forward to sharing more of them this week. I put two of mine out, and they're already in the green, which is fantastic. So I'm hoping to see better returns as we go forward and add to that list. Now, if you haven't joined mine, you can see what I'm doing with my retirement portfolio and all the other stuff, the Stock Mopic, Patreon down below. Check that one out as well. Get your free stocks from Moomoo today. $100 deposit, five free stocks. Uh, 5,000 deposit. You get a free share of Tesla or Google and 15 stocks. You'll be worth up to $2,000 a piece. And the best right now, check this out. Any deposit right now, a dollar using my link. You got to use the link below for Weeble. We'll get you up to 12 free stocks worth up to 30,600. So today I wanted to kind of start out with uh, the cues and I'm going to go into a lot of different things, like I said. So it's a semi long video here, but <clears throat> if you want to know exactly what I think the best stocks to buy now are and all that good stuff, you're going to want to stick around because I think you're going to like what I got for you. Some of you, if you've been watching the channel, already have an idea, but I wanted to talk about the cues. Because I have some major TQQQ put options out there. And yeah, they were doing very well on Monday or on Friday. So now looking at this, and as you can see what's going on here, it dropped. But over the last week, 1.32. But over the last month, it's actually been on the rise. So we had a few, a little bit down here, you know, it's kind of retesting these highs, retest it, retest it, boom, drop below. We have a new low. A new lower low and to me that's a little nerve-wracking in the short term and i thought well let's go ahead and take a look at the charts that out down there and see where we're at and you can see what's happening here uh when we start to look we have that we have this nice channel nice ascending wedge going on everything's looking good and then of course to me just like i just showed you there we kind of broke down below i think today is going to be a major day for the cues we'll see where it goes is are they gonna is it gonna pop back up are things gonna get better i don't know uh, to me this this is gonna be a major week either this week kind of tells us and gives us our confirmation that we're on, we're on the next leg down at least in the short term or we bounce off of this monday and tuesday and we can break through up here and to me 378 is the number we get up to 379 and can finish above there and we can hold that position for a day or two I feel fantastic moving forward, and most likely I would reverse the TQQ puts into calls. But for right now, from what I'm seeing, I think the put options are the right way to go. Uh, like I said, I don't tell you what to buy and sell, just what I'm doing. So it's a little thought there. U.S. inflation is expected to keep slowing. Here's why. Now, as we get into it, I got to tell you, I, re I read all these different articles and research from other people. It's ugly out there. People don't have money. You got student loan uh Bills coming out in August that need to be paid, or in uh, October that need to be paid. That's continuing. You got food and every energy. Energy's going through the roof. I don't know if you tried to fill your gas tank lately, but that's been crazy. And we got the winter season coming, where all that the winter bills are going to be coming out, the heating and everything. Else. It's just going to get nuts. And I don't understand where all these businesses uh, are talking about. Oh well, you know the demand, the retail people, they'll keep buying, they'll keep putting on credit cards. Well, the Fed says, no, let us go ahead and raise rates even more because we want to make sure people aren't having extra spending money. We want to slow down the economy. We want to see these markets and everything else around it just calm down. And that means either flat or down. 
And I think they're going to overdo it just like they underwhelmed us when they told us that inflation was transitory. So now we get to a point where it's the other end of the scale. And it takes a while. It wasn't going to be overnight that they overdid it. And so now here we are. And we're going to watch through this. We're going to see what happens. But I, I'm not feeling all warm and fuzzy, all right? all right? I bring this up a lot because this is what I'm watching on a daily basis. We see there's a 98, 99% chance now that the Fed's not going to raise rates on, uh, I think it's Wednesday. Uh, next, next month in November, it's down to 30% chance, 70% chance they're not going to raise rates. We get to December, and it's about 62.4% uh, chance they're not going to raise rates. Once you move into next year... You can see it. Uh, now you have a chance of it going backwards. March is when I thought we had a good shot. Right now, it doesn't look like it, does it? Now we go backwards, uh, but we'll see. I think things collapse before then. And right here, you can see this. Now they start talking. And then by June, which some of the experts have said, it looks like that is the main time. So I think it still happens before June, but we will see. So what happens with that, Mo? You said you were going to talk about stuff. Well, this is what they expect last meeting, not this one. I expect much of the same with minus minus the rate hike. We're not going to get a rate hike. But they're going to be, well, you know, have we gone far enough? Uh, if, we rate, if we raise rates again, which they said they were going to, they said they were going to do two rate hikes this year, what is the damage? They're going to talk about all this stuff, right? So that, it's going to be very similar to the last one. My goal is to make money with it off of TMF, all right? So you guys know I've been loading up on TMF and t-bill now t-bill for those that don't know my t-bill position let me get this thing roughly ready here t-bill is paying around 5.3 percent annualized now and it pays out once a month and so it's nice to get that annualized payment divided by 12 of course paid once a month and i take that money i roll it back into tlt tmf t-bill and that's my goal is to continue to raise money with t-bill but also increase my longer position on TLT, which is a 20 year plus treasury ETF. That gives me the long dated. So if the Fed has to do emergency cuts, everybody rushes in at one time, I'm able to start making money on that because my position's ready to go. But this year to date has been down 8.38%, which is absolutely ugly. It is ugly. It did not do what we thought it would do. We thought by now we would see something crack, break, blah, blah, blah. It did not, all right? So at this point, I'm continuing to load up even more. Because I thought this thing was a steal at 95. I think it's a real big steal at 92, 96 in the long term. Because if you go out and look at the max, how many times have we been below 100 uh, for the last many, many years? Not often. But if you go back to pre-2010, uh, we bounced around, you can see, in the 80s and the 90s and up to 100. So I'm watching this. To me, this is a and it's paying solid interest on top of this. So you got that. Uh, now, TMF is the, the high risk one for me. And you can see over the last five days, if we can get this thing up there, right? Over the last five days, down 2.41%. So I'm, that was the last week. So we're gonna see where this thing goes. I'm gonna add more, most likely today, just to let you guys know. If you'd like to see exactly what I'm doing, come on over to the Patreon. You can join the Stock Mo Patreon to follow along with my moves. I will do some, we have an exclusive portfolio for the Stock Squad as well that we're making moves. We got a lot of things going on, and I'm excited about it. So I think uh, the opportunities are out there. Now, at the least at the time of me making this video, uh, we had very basically flat markets. Uh, nothing up, nothing down. We'll see where we go as the information comes out this week. But understand, most of, the, most of this week will be around the Fed's actions. And to start, I will let you know, I think this is going to be one of the biggest weeks we're going to see for the queues. And I am watching them. Like I said, I'm going to... I have a substantial amount of money on them. I'm going to continue to add more and play those. And I have some other plays I'm looking to do uh, based on the charts. And we're going to find out if we can make some money with some swing trading, as well as my long-term projections with some of the treasuries and other things I'm doing. So it's time to get out there. I'm ready to do this. And I feel pretty good about it. We'll see where it goes. Now, if you haven't done it, get your free stocks from Lumu and Weevil down below. Come on over and join the patrons at the Stock Squad and the Stock Mo. Patreon is a great way to surround yourself with like-minded people. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.